everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout and today I am doing the birth story for my granddaughter. So I'm going to start out with that brown pattern paper as my background, or the brown pattern paper. That is from Echo Park Bundle of Joy and it is the Baby Cakes paper. And then I'm going to take this sheet of plaid paper which is the Echo Park Bundle of Joy Baby Girl Plaid. And I'm going to back my photo with that. I'm going to do a fairly large um, border on this one. A lot of times I do a much narrower one, but this one is about a half an inch. I liked how that kind of separated the photo off the background and made it um, stand out a little bit more. There's a lot going on in that photo. That's my daughter-in-law and she's just given birth to their baby girl. And that's my middle grandson who is um, has just turned two at this point meeting his baby sister. So unlike his older brother who is five, he has not had practiced having a new baby come into the world. So he's a little bit, um, you know, he's he doesn't have the experience his older brother does. Um, now I'm taking these pieces here. One is that new arrival cut apart and that's from the Echo Park Bundle of Joy Welcome Baby Girl paper. And then the other one is the It's a Girl cut apart which is the Bundle of Joy Girl journaling cards. And there's two three by four journaling cards there and I'm going to actually leave them together instead of pulling them apart which is, uh, you know, what I would normally do is I would normally cut them apart. And I have a fairly big journaling spot there because I have a longer story that I want to tell with this one. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to overlap things like I'm doing there where I have the um, photo overlapping the journaling card and the new arrival cut apart. I'm now looking at a sticker sheet and I really like these banner stickers that spell out the word baby and those come from the Echo Park Sweet Baby Girl Elements stickers. So I'll take those and I'll just put them up on the top of the layout here and I'm gonna turn it just so I can see it a little bit easier. And these are, I'm, I've made quite a few layouts with this particular kit so it's, um, it's you know, I'm, I'm having less and less choice I guess of what I'm going to put on layouts for decoration. So, you know, when it's all new, you have everything available and now I'm getting more towards the end. So I'm starting to think about decisions and or I'm really looking at things because I have less and less of these baby photos to um, scrapbook and put out there. All right, so now I have that up at the top and I'm going to put down these cards here, just kind of line them up. I haven't done this like this with a group of essentially cut apart, you know, which would are, would be four by six and three by four journaling cards. You could do something like this with journaling cards as well, just to make a block. And I loved that new arrival card or cut apart up there because she is brand new. And sorry that this is wiggling. I'm still working on my uh, table, not in my regular desk desk space here. All right, and I just, I love how her older brother is just touching her and just, you know, he's kind of wondering and, you know, this is all new to him. So that just, I thought was really, really sweet. So now I have that down and I'm gluing it down pretty well because I pretty much have that, um, that part of it decided, the, the paper layers there. So now I'm going back and looking to see what else I might find on the sticker sheets here. And then I'm also looking at the chipboard for these collections and trying to see if there's anything on that that I might want to add in. And there are actually, there's chipboard phrases and chipboard accents with the Sweet Baby Girl collection. And this is, says it's a girl, and that chipboard actually comes from the Sweet Baby Girl chipboard accents piece there. So I'm getting that down. 
trying to s decide if there's anything else that I want to add in here. That was um, not quite straight there, so I'm playing around with a little. And I did forget to say that I did ink all these edges with my uh, Tim Holtz Vintage Photo Distress Ink, just kind of to give them a little bit more of a shadow and then also to try to get them to be cohesive. I mean, they're they're from an Echo Park baby collection and the colors are pretty similar, but not exactly the same. So that just kind of unites everything. And now I have that edge all straightened out. There's a little bit of a story behind this. My daughter-in-law has babies pretty fast and her third child here, um, you know, was going to arrive at home if they didn't get to the, didn't get to the hospital on time. And her dad, who was supposed to come and take care of the boys, accidentally shut his phone off and they couldn't get a hold of him. So the two older brothers went to the hospital with her. Now they weren't in the delivery room when she delivered the um, baby, but um, they saw the labor, that's for sure. <laughs> so my older nephew would talk about mama's pain scale. <laughs> so anyway, um, sometimes that happens. I told her, boy, you better be careful if you ever have a fourth one. And they, they said, no, that they're done. So anyway, I'm now looking for other things to add here. And I take these puffy hearts from the L Studio Live Love Laugh uh, puffy heart stickers, and I'm putting that first one there on that little miracle banner sticker, which I put on while I was talking about the story. Um, and that came from the Sweet Baby Girl Elements stickers. And I did tell that story um, on the journaling card because I think it's important because that is a big part of her birth. All right, so I'm going to add that little puffy heart up there. And then I'm kind of looking for other things. I like that little puffy heart, so I'm gonna add that up there. And then I'll choose one more and then um, look for the still shots and the detail shots because I did add some uh, enamel dots from the October afternoon under the tree collection around on some of the um, other places. I actually chose two more, I'm sorry. I forgot about that one and then the one that's up by the new arrival. And then I added um, enamel dots where each of the hearts are and then a couple extras on that banner up there. All right guys, here's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye.